have you ever wanted to carry a 45 pound hunk of metal around with you trying to get back and forth from class, needing it because walking back home is a 30 to 40 minute endeavor? Well then you probably need a boosted board or an electric skateboard or something similar. What's up guys, this is Matt from The Live Company and today we're gonna be talking about my favorite product that I had to own and love to death, the boosted board and just the boosted board stealth. Now, boosted board for me was one of the first companies that I saw that I was like, the technology that they're creating is so cool that I have to have it. And when I was in freshman year of college, I made a decision to ask my parents to buy me a boosted board for college. So. <laughs> I always wanted to own one of these things. Obviously, anybody who's a fan of Casey Neistat and whatever you know other content creator wrote boosted boards at the time, you know that these things were like super cool back in 2016, 2017. And honestly, like riding them and just being on top of one of these is the most fun experience ever. I love this product because I know that everything that has gotten into this is like very high quality and very premium. The way that it's built, the way that it runs, the way that you can re actually repair it is very impressive. And although you might need to do a little modifications here and there to make it like perfect, this thing still runs and still is one of the best products in terms of the skateboard market to this day. I love Boosted. I think it's a great company, but they are not a company anymore. If you didn't know, Boosted, Boosted Board, their entire company, does not exist anymore. They went bankrupt and they were not able to continue to provide and create these types, this type of technology because of one thing. And that one thing was not focusing on creating the best product, but focusing too much on growth and continuously having the biggest and the largest market share on the electric skateboard market, right? There's a myriad of things that went into their downfall. I think, you know, the Chinese trade wars, the high quality and like their service to, to their consumers with like warranties and that definitely contributed to the way that they weren't able to make as much money, but they provided a service and a product that was no other one, right? Nobody had ever made anything like this. Now, you know, there's a lot of companies that kind of copy what they make. They have the tools and the parts to make the components, slap them together. It's an electric skateboard, it works fine, but it's just not built with the same level of care, the same American standard quality that is this device. And Boosted Board is not a company anymore, and that's okay, but I think we can gain a lesson from what exactly happened with them. Now, Boosted started in 2012 as a Kickstarter funded company. And with any sort of Kickstarter funded company, they have goals that they reach and then they develop and they you know, continuously get these goals, they hit the goals, they develop, like that's the cycle that they get, right? So Boosted was doing that, they developed their first Boosted V2 or V1, um, and then they built another one and then built another skateboard. And then eventually they started releasing skateboards that were like top of the line, right? Like this product, the Boosted Stealth over here, if I haven't shown you already, definitely one of the best skateboards, electric skateboards on the market. I mean, this thing goes top speed of 20, 5, 27 miles per hour, you're flying on this thing and you're feeling good, right? It'll take you a pretty far distance. It's like very well built and very bouncy. You can like stand on it for a long time. The way it handles turns, the way that it just feels and like, you know, you can hold it and it's just like a great product and it lasts. I mean, I've been abusing this thing for like five years. It's just something that not many other products are able to brag about. So boosted the products, the the creation of the products. When we think about boosted boards, when I think about boosted boards, I just think about these electric skateboards, right? I think about this, not boosted scooters, not boosted, uh, I don't know, uh, minis, not like the, not new and like completely different things, but the simple fact that they create products that are really valuable and really amazing, right? So boosted made the decision to develop scooters that were, Let's say not exactly bad, but they were like the most high quality scooters, premium scooters that you can imagine. And although Boosted was like a big company at the time, they thought that they had the money to develop and create this new technology. They eventually ran out because of, you know, the Chinese trade tariffs, things started getting more expensive, development costs were getting a little bit too high because they hired like the best engineers and the best people to create the best product and they just couldn't survive and couldn't stay afloat. What is the lesson that you can gain from a company creating a new product, trying to expand and appeal to shareholders rather than appeal to their consumer and fail because of that? I think that a lot of people can say like, oh, this is the problem with capitalism. We focus too much about growth and like, you know, it's all about 
making more money and things like that. And it's like, yes, okay, that there's a part of that, right? But I think what's really important is kind of the memento or the memory that is left behind when you think about great products like the Boosted Board and the Boosted Board Stealth and things like that, right? I don't remember Boosted for the Boosted Scooters because I think scooters are lame. And I think that the idea of you know, putting the uh, electric technology into a, a scooter is like, okay, it's cool, but it's like kind of whatever, right? I think of boosted board. I think of the feeling of being like ridden on a skateboard. Like I am that market. Like I want to feel empowered. I want to feel like I don't have to rely on my own feet. I can use technology to get me from place to place. And it's like the best feeling ever. And I don't think that boosted like kind of got that or understood that, that that was like the main market. That was the main thing that they wanted to appeal to. And it's so sad because, you know, there's a future, there was a universe where boosted boards and electric uh, skateboards and stuff like that were the next uh, scooter, were the next just way of getting around. And, and today it's just not around as much. People use Meepo, people use other Chinese brands and things that aren't from the USA, which isn't bad, but it's like, we had something going here that was amazing. And although, although boosted is gone, right? Like they don't have their products anymore and they like they aren't developing anything new like the the line is dead we still have these creations these things to remember them by and so in terms of life in terms of like how you act and how you go about things you don't really realize how the effort that you put in today and the things that you create today if they are the best will be remembered like forever right you don't really think about how the people who created mario or the people who created like Pong or any sort of video game or something like that, their actions, their little effort of making something a certain way or like tweaking something to work a little bit better, like those actions, those things have defined and redefined entire generations of people's lives. And you don't even like think about that or like perceive that because it's such a small action. It's such a small little movement. It's such a small little like intention that will have cascading effects to the entirety of like the world and how things are in general, right? You think of products like the iPhone, you think of products like, you know, cars and things like that. The the smallest type of engineering design that is made or like changed so that a person gets some sort of better experience or some sort of like better understanding. Like think about windshield wipers. Windshield wipers were manual before, guys. Like think about how much technology has changed, how everything that we create, everything that we do, it matters so much. And why do we pursue the growth? Why do we pursue the, you know, the money of it and like having to like be the biggest and best company ever? Like it's greed, yes, but it's like also just a part of the system that we live in. People feel the need to keep growing because stagnation is almost like death to most companies because if you're stagnating, then, you know, you have more of a chance to start going down the drain. If you're growing, then you have no chance of stagnation. You have no chance of like having your foot out the door, right? At least you're still growing. There's no future where it's like that isn't the case, right? So what do you do to combat that? Well, you make amazing products and you create amazing things. You look the society that we live into the eye and you say, no, like even though I know it's this way, everything is this way, everything's already been defined to be a certain way, like I am not gonna accept that and I'm just gonna create something that I know that I will use and that other people will love as well. This is why I love CDs. CDs are not exactly the premier and like the best thing ever. If you think about a CD, it's old technology that nobody uses. It's technology that is like, you know, how many years old? I, I don't even know. Um, and like, you know, I still use this stuff. I still like love the feeling of like touching CDs and like having the ownership of like physical media in my hands. It's, it's amazing because it's, this is it. This is like, what it means to be an engineer. This is what it means to solve problems. It's when you create something, you know that it will last. And Boosted Board, Boosted Stealth lasted. It has stood the test of time. When people think of electric skateboards, they don't think of Meepo. They don't think of these other products. They think of Boosted. They think of Casey Neistat riding that thing around New York. They think of, you know, people maybe in their college or people around them who like has one or something like that, right? And more times than not, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a Boosted Board. What can we get from this? It's that you need to try and you need to do the best that you can to create the best product that you can. And that growth and you know explosive, uh, continuous growth and creating the best product possible with the, uh, with the intention of just making money is not going to net you success. You have to think about the consumer. You have to think about just making what 
is necessary and not what is necessary for growth. I think that this happens to companies all the time, right? They release some new product, they release some new thing, it doesn't go well, okay, so what? We have billions of dollars so we can like release another product. But some companies that are Kickstarted, some companies that are smaller, like Boosted, they don't have the opportunity to do that. They spent all this time researching, developing scooters that not enough people bought or not enough people wanted and their company went down the drain because of it. It's, it's sad, it's what I wish didn't happen but it's just the way the game is played. So if you have the opportunity to create something, you have the opportunity to go out there and show the world what you can make or create, I really recommend that you make something that people will remember for good reasons. People will remember for being the best version of the product. People will make videos like this about. People will actually spend time and think about and appreciate the amount of effort it took to get to the level that it did. Like I think about cameras, I think about watches, I think about all these products and all these things that like people sacrifice so much to make these things that top possible level and the fact that we can use these today the fact that these are products that we own and that like aren't held back by subscription services and aren't gonna completely drain our bank account for the rest of our life and just are there is just something special and that's what boosted is for me and i love the company and i wish it was still a thing but it's not and that's just life if you are interested in engineering philosophy and just kind of understanding a little bit more about humans and just the way we act in ourselves please Leave a follow and subscribe. This is Matt from the Live Company. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.